To all who come to this happy place, welcome. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the vlog. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me on this Monday. A happy Coffee Monday or Tuesday if you guys are watching on Tuesday. It's the start of a new week. I'm ready to hit it hard. Got a few things planned to happen this morning before staff meeting at, at work today. It's a lot of prep work for what may be like the biggest leap of faith that I've ever taken. One of my friends that I made recently told me that because I'm doing the same thing that a lot of people have done and that is getting ready to move to Florida. I had not really accepted an offer because an offer wasn't exactly given to me, but I had an interview last Tuesday, so almost a week ago. An offer was not given to me, but I was put on a wait list, and so I'm treating it as if I've accepted an offer, and now I'm preparing to move down in the time that I told the recruiter that interviewed me. So we'll see where that goes. It has to be planned. Lots of prayer and thoughts being sent my way, and making sure that things are in line, and making sure finances are straightened out. This is a lot of prep work. If you guys have moved before, then it's different for everybody. It's not easy to do it on your own. It's not easy to do it with other people unless you just have a ton of money and it's just like, man, let's go. But just uprooting and going, it can be interesting. We've got tons of friends who have done it. They've all given me advice and everything. They're like, if it's what you want to do and you're pursuing it definitely for career reasons, it's like, just go for it. I'm like, I am. But at the same time, I have to make sure that I'm not breaking a lease or getting in trouble with that or anything like that. And so, you know, just like all the, all the little things, all the dirty things you don't want to deal with, all the not very fun things. So that's where I'm at this morning, and I'm going to be heading off to work. <laughs> What up? What's going on guys? So I just got home from the gym and <clears throat> it was a great workout. I um, got to see a lot of people that I don't typically get to see, but it was because it was the uh, prime time of the day. Five o'clock is actually when we finally made it to the gym, which is a lot later than we were. <laughs> it was like an hour after we were originally going to be there, but um, yeah, it was just me and Jason and Meg. Meg met us there because she was at her great godmother's house. We just worked shoulders and got my BCAAs and amino acids here, as well as my protein shake. We made a huge protein shake because Jason and I are sharing it. So, gosh, people would be surprised if you just go there and meet some people that you can get along with. It's really cool. You can kind of make a family out of it. And that's what we did at Gold's. And so I was telling Jason that it's kind of like the Gold's family almost got dropped off, like lost almost, because the Gold's gym here in Lynchburg closed. And then we, we all were like looking for a gym to go to. And there was like only one really good option that was just overall like the best place to go. So we all like just kind of showed up and it's like, oh my God, Gosh, you're here you're here okay and we made a thing out of it really good stuff and then I think in a while we're gonna meet up and go to a place called the White Heart Cafe which is a small business coffee shop here in, the, in Lynchburg they're doing like half price coffee and they're pretty good I, I enjoy going there because it's like I said small business and it doesn't mean that there aren't a lot of people that go there almost every time we go there it's pretty busy but it's a great place and they usually do a lot of charity work I, I enjoy going there so we'll go there and tomorrow's national pancake day so I Hop is doing this thing in Lynchburg 7 to 7. I don't know what the times are anywhere else, but I think you get like three free pancakes or something like that. So that'll be pretty good. But I think I'm going to be calling it a night here because it's 7 o'clock and I don't know if I'm going to be having enough time to do any more vlogging and then editing and everything. So if I don't see you guys again after this, then have a good night. Thanks for watching, guys.